Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how to get started with coding and I'm going to try and keep this video kind of short and I will have all the resources that I'm talking about and even more linked in the description box. So definitely check that out. One of the most common mistakes when learning how to program is just Googling how to program or, you know, learn C++ in 10 minutes. Just kind of mindlessly Googling such a big concept without any guidance or breaking it down. So I'm going to talk about how I would start coding if I had a fresh mind and never seen programming before. I would start with kids camps. But kid coding websites really break it down to the very basics and they do interactive games, which honestly helps your mind kind of put the concepts and the skills together. So I know it may sound funny or, you know, embarrassing to use a kid coding website, but honestly, it will help you and it will work. I'll have an entire kids coding section linked down below, but one of the websites that I have personally used when teaching other people how to code um, is code.org and they have this like Angry Birds style uh, coding block game, which coding in blocks is very popular in the kids coding uh, tutorials and things. So it'll be like a giant block that says to move the bird forward or backwards, like fill in the block. But they put that in coding syntax so that, you know, it's kind of fun and interactive, but you're also getting exposed to coding syntax and how things look in actual programming. So yeah, definitely check out all of the kid tutorials and resources that I have linked down below. Like I said, I know it sounds silly and maybe you're embarrassed to start coding on like a children's website, but if you think about it, these websites are specifically built for someone with a fresh mind who may know nothing about programming. So um, if that is you, that is totally fine to start there. So there are the websites that are designed for younger students who want to learn how to do computer science, but there are also those same kind of style, like interactive coding platforms, um, but not like so babyish, you know? So I will have a ton of them linked down below. One of the most common ones is Udemy, and some of these will cost money. That is like the only thing. There are things like Free Code Camp and um, Khan Academy and other websites, which I, like I said, I will have linked down below. Um, but a lot of times these more interactive, um, made for adults programming websites will cost money. But, and there actually are courses like from Harvard, MIT, Berkeley, Stanford that actually put out their introductory courses um, for I think a small fee. Sometimes I think they're free and that's another w great way to kind of get yourself exposed to computer science and programming in general and like what an introductory course at a major school would look like. And so when I say interactive coding platform, what I mean is that you typically be given a paragraph or like a little problem and you code alongside that and you have this thing called like a terminal or like your output screen. And so whatever you code, you can check your output and kind of work on assignments and little problems um, throughout the day. And you know, they go by different modules, like different topics and subtopics within those. Yeah, but it's a great style of learning because with programming, the best way to learn is actually to practice the code. So um, those interactive websites are really good and sometimes can be worth that fee if it means that you're going to actually be learning and retaining the information. So if you don't wanna do an interactive coding platform, you can always teach yourself. And I find that the best way to figure out what like topics and subjects that you should be teaching yourself is by finding a online textbook. So down below I have linked Python and C++ like textbooks that are split up into different modules. So reading online textbooks and articles is not necessarily the best way to learn programming, but what I have found is that using that textbook textbook to figure out the chapters and how they split it up and figuring out, okay, what should I be learning before I learn this next concept? Like, should I learn variables first or loops first? You know, like obviously you should be learning variables first. So figuring out the order of what you should learn is really helpful by referencing a textbook because they have all the chapters lined out for you. Um, and if you do learn through just reading, then more power to you. But what I would do is use that textbook to figure out the chapters that you should be going in order of, and then using online professors from YouTube or Geeks for Geeks, and just Googling those concepts like chapter by chapter that they say, you know, you should be learning in, but like Googling a hands-on, you know, a video or um, practice problems and things like that. So those are the three ways that you can get started learning computer science. If you have any more questions, please leave them down below. I'll have my coding tutorials and all the resources I mentioned and more linked in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.